I see the target, JJ. He's turning the corner. Look at the way he's accelerating. We need to be extra careful not to give ourselves away. Keep your distance, but don't lose sight of him. Where do you think he's going? Probably to his house. He's obviously hiding something. We can't take any chances. If he sees us now, the whole operation's a bust. Any idea how to get in without being seen? Look, he's almost at the door. We can go in the backyard, go around the back of his house. We have to be ready for anything. Or we can wait until he's distracted inside and come in when the door's open. All right, Mikey, we're gonna stay quiet and cautious. The key is not to scare him off before he gets here. Okay, that's enough waiting. Looks like he's inside and he's not coming out. If we break the glass now, we can get through before he can react. We just need to be in sync. You break the window, I'll cover it. Once we're inside, we neutralize him, but no noise. We don't want witnesses or trouble at the base. We'll sneak up on him and knock him out before he has a chance to raise the alarm. I'm going in first. I'm ready. We need to do this quietly and quickly. Well done, JJ. Now our job is to get him out of here before anyone notices. We need to move fast before anyone comes to the noise. As soon as we take him out, we need to be prepared for any scenario at the base. There's no telling what this villager might say when he wakes up, but we'll have time to question him. Let's go, Mikey. Don't take too long. Almost at the entrance. As soon as we get to the base, we'll report to our superiors and figure out what to do with him. All right, let's go. Quick and quiet. Well, here we are at the base. We delivered him as planned, no problem. Now the only thing to do is to keep him in good care. That's right. Hey, you, keep an eye on him. He could wake up at any moment, so don't let your guard down. If anything goes wrong, let us know right away. Understood, sir. I'll keep an eye on him. If anything happens, I'll let you know immediately. This guy seems to know something, and his superiors will obviously want to hear his version of events. We need to keep our ears open. The brass is going to want more information. All right, let's turn on the TV and get on the line. See what they have to say. Commander, this is Mikey and JJ. We've completed the mission. The villager has been captured and brought to the base. He's now in protective custody, and we're awaiting your further orders. What's the plan for the next phase? Good job, guys. You worked promptly and quietly as expected. Listen up, Mikey, JJ. We have some new information. This captured villager is just the tip of the iceberg. We have intel that there are two other villagers involved in this operation. Here are their photos. Your job is to find them, tie them up, and bring them to the base for interrogation. They may resist, so be prepared for any eventuality. Copy that, Commander. We'll study the location of both of them and develop a plan to capture them. Well, we have a new mission. We have to work clean so they don't get away. There's no point in doing this mission at night. The targets are probably asleep by now, so we should be. You're right. Let's get some rest until morning, and then we'll go straight to the search. Got him. That's our first target, exactly as described. White outfit, just like the commander said. Looks like he's heading for the house on the edge of the village. Stay in the shadows. Keep your head down. He's heading towards some house. Wait, that's the second target's house. They seem to know each other. Maybe they work together? We have to be careful. It's too suspicious that they're both here at the same time. Maybe they're up to something. Let's see what they talk about. I can't hear anything from here, though. Do you think we should get closer? There he goes. All right, this is our chance. Now we have to decide who to take first, him or whoever's left in the house. What do you think, JJ? Why don't we follow up on the first target and then come back for the second? No, let's take the first target in the house first, like we did last time, break the window, go in, and knock him out. All right, we take the second target first. That villager's still in the house, so this is our chance. Okay, it's done. He didn't even look back. Let's get him. I'll take him back to base. You stay here, set a trap in case the first target comes back. She might get suspicious and come in here. I can handle it. I'll set it up so he doesn't realize he's walking into a trap. When he enters, the trap will trigger and immobilize him. We need to make it look like business as usual. All right then, when you're done, come straight back to base. No problem, I'll make it neat. As soon as he comes back, he'll be in my trap before he even steps foot. Well, let's make him walk into the trap himself. We'll make a fake tree and he'll fall through as soon as someone steps on it. Done. Once the villager comes back, steps on the floor, he's downstairs where he belongs. I did it. I left the first villager nearby, over the hill. Now it all depends on when the second target comes back. Nice trap. Man won't even realize there's a chasm underneath. I hope it all works out according to plan. Look, he's here. He's walking right into a trap. It's about to be solved. Come on, keep going. Gotcha, just like planned. It worked perfectly. Great, now he's not going anywhere. 
Looks like the operation was a success. Now, let's get him out of here and get him back to base. The assignment is almost done. They're so heavy. JJ, how do you do it? My arms are falling off. Practice, Mikey. You could do with a little less sitting at the table. Next time we'll take the car or we'll break our backs carrying them by hand. Hey, everybody, take the shipment. We got them here. Careful, one of them could wake up at any moment. Okay, guys, mission accomplished. JJ, great job, as always. Now we can relax a little, at least until the next mission. Okay, I need to contact my superiors again and let them know the job is done. I wonder if they'll give us the next assignment. Right, let's hear what he has to tell us. Mikey, JJ, you did great. You did an excellent job. Both villagers arrived safely at the base. That's exactly what I need. Thank you. But frankly, it's not been an easy job. These villagers are heavier than expected. But now that the job is done, we hope to get the reward we were promised. You'll get money if you do a couple more jobs for me. You know me, I keep my word. What's that supposed to mean? We completed all the tasks and he didn't even give us payment for the work. It's like we just came and went. Yeah, that's not his style at all. We've spent time and effort, and now we're left with empty pockets. We should have gotten something. You're right. We deserve more than promises. He may think he can drag us into one more mission, but I'm not gonna stand for it. I agree. We have to do something. Let's look for work in the village. There's always someone there who needs help. We don't have to wait for him to contact Maybe us. Maybe we can find someone who will pay well for our work. There is always plenty to do in the village, from hunting animals to helping with building. The main thing is to find someone willing to appreciate our skills. If we get a good job, I hope we don't get scammed this time. We have to be careful. If anyone tries to trick us, we'll show them what we can do. Hey, please help me. I have a big problem. What's wrong? We were just about to get a job, so if it's something serious, we can help. My chickens are disappearing. I don't know what's going on. Every night when I close the coop, one or two chickens disappear. Are the chickens disappearing? Are you sure they don't just run away? Maybe they found a way to get out. No, I checked. I even reinforced the coop, but it doesn't help. I've been hearing strange noises and by morning, the chickens are missing again. I need to know what's going on. Sounds like a job to us. We're not afraid of chickens or mysterious noises. We can help you find out who or what is taking them. Oh, thank you. I would really appreciate it. I have everything I need for you if you can get my chickens back. Look, Mikey, look at this. There's a hole in the wall. It looks big enough for someone to fit through. Exactly. This could be the entrance for someone taking the chickens away. But who could it be? Have you seen anything unusual around here? Nope, didn't notice anything. But look, there are feathers on the floor. I think they lead towards the woods. Whoa, let's follow them. If these feathers lead to where the chickens went missing, we might find clues as to who's behind it. I agree. Come on, stay alert. If there's someone hiding here, we don't want them to know we're here. If it's someone stealing chickens, they probably have a den nearby. We must be careful not to scare it away. That's right. We need to remain inconspicuous. If we can find the lair, maybe we can find out who's behind this kidnapping. Look, the tracks lead further into the woods, and it looks like they're getting wider. So it looks like something big is going down here. Let's move slowly so we don't spook anyone. There are fewer and fewer tracks, which means we're either lost or close to our goal. Look, it's her. That fox over there, it looks like she's the culprit. She's near the chickens. Maybe she's just hungry and found food. But if it's eating the chickens, we've got to do something. Yeah, she's not just hungry. She's hunting them. If we leave her alone, she'll keep killing chickens. I'm going to shoot her to stop it. Do you think that's a good idea? Maybe there are other ways. We could try to chase it away or catch it. Look, Mikey, if we don't stop her now, she's gonna go chicken hunting all over again. It's too risky. You did it. Now we need to check what happened to the chickens and see if there are any other threats. Yeah, now we can look around. I hope that was the only problem. Let's see what else is here. There's nothing else here, just feathers and bones. Looks like we're too late and the fox has already done everything. Yeah, but it's better than thinking someone is kidnapping chickens. At least we know the cause is wildlife, not some villain. I agree. But we need to go back to the villager and tell him what we found. Perhaps he should take steps to protect the chickens in the future. Let's go. I hope he's happy with what we've done. I hope he can take steps to protect the remaining chickens. Maybe we should reinforce the coop even more. You're back. What happened? Did you find something? We discovered that the chickens were missing because of a fox. We caught it, but unfortunately only one chicken survived, but it was injured. But we want you to know that. You need to protect the other chickens so this doesn't happen again. Thank you. I was already worried about my chickens. I will take your advice to heart and do my best to protect them. 
Great! Now we got something in the form of emeralds, let's get back to base. Now we need to move on to our main job, we need to contact our superiors. So let's turn on the TV and get on the phone. Yeah, I think it's time to call my bosses. Greetings, Mikey and JJ. I have a new assignment for you. I need you to intimidate a certain villager merchant. Who is this merchant, and why would we want to intimidate him? He has some documents we need, but be careful, he has guards. This is going to be more difficult than usual. Got it! How many guards does he have? I don't know for sure, but last I heard, there were at least three of them. So prepare yourselves and act wisely. I'm sure you'll be fine. We can handle it. As soon as we get the documents, we'll contact you. I don't doubt you. You'll be paid handsomely afterward. I look forward to hearing from you. All right. In that case, we'll get started. It seems like this is going to be a difficult assignment. We need to devise a plan so we don't run into his guards. Yeah, we need to proceed with caution. Let's talk about how we can intimidate this trafficker and get the documents from him. We need to move towards the village. The merchant should be there. I think we've gone halfway around the village. Where could that peddler be? I don't know. Maybe we're just looking in the wrong place. Look, that house over there. The two golems at the entrance, that's definitely a trader's house. But how do we get in there? I have an idea. We can distract them. I'm going to build an iron golem girl so they'll be distracted by her. An iron golem girl? Are you sure this will work? Golems are pretty simple. They might just not pay attention to her. But if I make her attractive and convincing enough, it might work. They might not be able to resist curiosity. Okay, I trust your plan. You know what you're doing. Time to check it out. Now let's gently guide her toward the golems. I hope this works. If it works, we can go in and get the documents without any problems. We did it. The golems didn't even notice us. Now we have to be careful. Yeah, let's try to keep it quiet. We need to find the documents and leave quickly. Let's go inside and check it out. I hope there are no guards inside. We have nothing else to distract us. Looks like he remodeled his house into a shop that doesn't look remarkable. I don't see any paperwork though, just various items he probably sells. Look what I found, the hatch. Let's check it out. Looks like it leads to the basement. I hope there are no traps, but this is our only chance to find the documents. Let's go, we need to move fast. If the merchant spots us, we could be in trouble. Hey, look, it's the merchant and his guards. We need to proceed with caution. Yes, that's him. We can't let them spot us. We need to distract the bandits. Let's do it. What? You newbies want to play heroes? You're in trouble. Don't underestimate us. We've come to take your heads and your merchant papers. Oh, how funny. Two lame asses trying to intimidate us? You don't know who you're dealing with. We're not afraid of you. You'd better surrender while you still can. We'll squash you like ants. You don't know what a real battle is. We'll show you how to fight. Don't forget we're working together. What? How did you work so fast? It's teamwork. You didn't expect that, did you? Don't think you've won. We need to finish this quickly. It's done. Now we can get the papers and get out of here. The bandits won't be back on their feet for a while. We need to act fast before someone comes. There's got to be some paperwork somewhere. Come on, Mikey, look in the other drawers. It's just old tools and spare parts, not a single piece of paper. Here they are. We found them. It's the trader's papers. At last. Now we can leave and report to our superiors. I hope the bandits don't get up too soon. We gotta get out of here. Come on, let's be careful on the way to the base. We don't know who else could be here. We did well on this assignment. Now we have our papers. We're here. It wasn't easy, but we made it. Yeah, but don't get too comfortable. We need to put these documents together quickly and report back to our superiors that the task has been completed. Let me put them here. I hope these documents mean something. Of course, this could be the key to a new assignment. The more information we have, the better. Maybe there's a new message from the brass. Let's get to the TV. We need to report back. Great job, guys. You completed all my tasks just as I planned. Something's not right here. Why are you talking like you had another plan? How naive you are. Did you think you were working for some rich merchant or powerful man? No, my dears. I have been the one controlling you all this time. I am a witch. A witch? You've been using us all this time. Your work is done. I don't need you anymore. From now on, she's not a customer. She's a traitor. And we will not stop until we have our revenge. JJ, you see that? This guy's hiding something. I think he's a traitor. That's what I thought. What are you hiding, huh? Are you involved with a witch? Uh, what are you doing? This is a mistake. I'm just... We already made the mistake of trusting you. You're a traitor like her, aren't you? That's it, the map. This is her location. Here's our chance. Now we have her location. We can end this once and for all. I agree. Now we know where we're going. We need to be ready. 
This is not just a battle, but a real war against the witch. Well, witches love surprises, but this time, the surprise will be for her. Then we head towards the witch. She obviously doesn't expect us to come to her so quickly. We don't have far to go. She's close by. That's her house over there. It's small, but I don't like it. It's too quiet, and the place is weird. I agree, it's too quiet. Even the river's quiet. She's definitely up to something here. We have to be careful. Do you think she's waiting for us? Maybe it's a trap. Come on, let's go. You? How did you find me? It's over, witch. You can't manipulate us anymore. It's payback time. It worked. It's over, at least at this point. Now we just need to figure out what she was hiding in here. All this time, she's been using us and we didn't realize it. Now that the witch and her worker are out of danger, we will hand them over to the police to receive their punishment. Let them go to jail for their crimes. That's right. People like them have no place in our village. At least this way we can undo what we've done under their control. They won't be a threat to anyone else. We've had an interesting adventure today.